Okay, the story we're reading today is Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Here's Pete, our favorite character. Oh, and look at these delicious cupcakes. Let's read what happens. Hmm, they're gonna be missing. I wonder what's gonna happen. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. Let's look at what ingredients they're using. I see milk and flour. They have a mixing bowl. They both have spoons. They're mixing their cupcakes. Ready? Let's mix our cupcakes. One, two, three. Mix, mix, mix. Nice job. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten when they were done. Oh no! Hang on! Some of the cupcakes were gone! Uh oh! Someone's taking our cupcakes! They were sure there had been 10. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. <gasps> Just then, they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. <gasps> cupcakes too. That was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only one, two, three, four, five, six. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. Oh, it looks like footprints. I wonder what animal makes those footprints. Hmm. Pete said, I bet it was alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. <gasps> Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Oh! Someone's taking our cupcakes. Now there were only one, two, three, four. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. Oh, what's that? It's a... Ladder, that's right, good job. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me, it couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. <gasps> Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Gus did not know what to do. <gasps> they started looking for another clue. Oh, it looks like there's a little path here. Footprints and sprinkles and cupcake wrappers. Who do you think it was? 
they found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry, it was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate until there were none. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait. Grumpy Toad has made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited. He did a happy dance. Everyone do their happy dance. Ready? The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Let's count how many he brought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's a lot of cupcakes. Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. That looks so much fun. The end. <gasps> Who was our Grumpy Toad? Oh, there's our Grumpy Toad. Yeah. You were stealing our cupcakes, weren't you? Uh -huh. That's so sneaky. Thank you, Colton. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Pete the Cat Book is all done. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you loved it, two thumbs up. Miss Campo loved it. How do you feel, Colton? I'm good. You loved it? Two thumbs up? Uh -huh. Awesome. All right. Thanks for listening. Book is all done. Bye-bye.